Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Today we're back and we're going to look at the Regal playing cards. Now this particular set, these are actually prototypes. And so um, this is actually a Kickstarter. It's running a campaign right now. And when these cards get printed, when these cards get released and sent to the backers, um, they're going to be printed by the Expert Playing Card Company. Now, this prototype, this wasn't printed by Expert. This was printed in-house uh, from Gambler's Warehouse. And so I'm not really going to go over like texture or feel or cut or anything like that because it's not really going to be applicable. This review is strictly just for design and so you can see what these cards look like. Um, like I said before, this is a Kickstarter. It's being put out by PlayingCards.net, Gambler's Warehouse, and uh, Cutthroat Cards. Now Cutthroat Cards, that's actually uh, John Powell. Uh, John Powell is a renowned card artist. You might remember him from uh, doing the Double Blacks and doing the Occults. Um, what he wanted to do was release this set, uh, Regal, and uh, his, his quote behind it is that it's, it's tradition with a lavish twist. Um, the deck is going to come in four different colors. It's going to come in red and blue and green and purple. And John said that he was really influenced by the classic standard uh, English court cards, but he wanted to do them in kind of a, more of a cleaner, more sophisticated, more regal appearance. And so hence, this is why we call these the regals. Um, uh, just for the sake of the uh, review itself, uh, there's four colors. We're going to look at the red color for the sake of this review. All right, so the tuck case, it says regal across the front, has a lot of gold filigree kind of uh, design, uh, ornate uh, shapes here in the center. There's a red ring and then a red gem uh, in the dead center of the tuck. Now, on each color of the tuck cases, of course, depending on the color uh, tuck you get, um, it'll, it'll follow suit as far as color goes. So obviously the purple will be purple, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, on this side, it says Gambler's Warehouse and Regal. And on the other side, it says the same thing. On the bottom, it has some ad copy about cut through cards and John Powell. And the top says Regal. Uh, the tuck flap um, is ornately decorated as well as the two flaps on the inside. And you get a custom uh, printed inner tuck design. Now that is going to be true for the cards when they get printed by Expert Playing Cards. Um, the cards from Expert are going to come with custom face cards, custom, car, uh, custom courts, custom jokers, and a completely custom tuck box that has both an interior tuck design uh, and it's going to have metallic and gold inks on the cards and the tuck boxes. And so that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Now let's take a look at these cards. I know I said I wouldn't say anything about the cut of the prototype deck, but uh, when I asked John who printed these cards, uh, he, and he told me that Gambler's Warehouse printed them in-house, in I was really surprised because normally when I get uh, prototype decks, I really don't like the way they feel or handle. Um, they're usually made by uh, lesser, smaller companies uh, just because of cost. But I think Gambler's did a really great job uh, on these uh, prototypes, and I would I have been playing and messing with these a lot, a lot more than I would any other prototype deck. So, um, if you were one of the lucky few that got a prototype uh, deck, kudos. Back design on this uh, goes all the way to the edges. It has a very thin uh, black uh, border with like a red pencil line uh, going all around it. Makes for really pretty uh, spreads and fans. And again, it's just this ornate uh, work that you saw in the back of the tuck case. Uh, the gem there in the center with like it's all encrusted with like crowns and it says regal on the top, regal on the bottom. Um, there's like a, a Roman numerals here in the corner. I think that's the Roman numeral. <laughs> it's just an X, X, one X. And so it could be a Roman numeral. Uh, and just a lot of just really regal uh, art, artistry uh, all around it. And it makes for a really uh, bold, very classic looking uh, deck design. With this deck, you're going to get two jokers. Uh, one joker is the color of the deck. So you get one red joker and it has a star in the center it says regal mine say prototype so i don't really know what the uh official ones will look like when they come out from expert and then you're going to get a uh generic one that's black and uh my corners uh on the j the pip there has uh red too you're also gonna get four customs aces uh each one of them is exploded and and kind of blown up very uh over the top uh here's your ace of spades it says uh regal on there and it's looking very regal it has crossed keys in the in the very center uh, here's your clubs and your diamonds and your hearts. The Pippin Indice cards are very similar to other Gambler's Warehouse uh, decks that were done by John Powell. Um, it does have his uh, original layout and his elongated, very bold uh, font in the corner. 
Here's a beauty shot of all four tuck cases. And here's a beauty shot of all four deck designs. So here's a close-up look at the purple back design and the purple tuck case, as well as the blue back design and the blue tuck case. Here's the red back design and the red tuck case, and the green back design and the green tuck case. So real quick, I wanted to show you John Powell's court cards, um, and I grabbed a set from each color. So these are the uh, blue quartz that are in the blue deck, and here are the red quartz that are in the red deck, and the green quartz, and the purple quartz. Here's a close-up look of the two jokers for the red deck. Rock out, man. And here are your four aces. So that is it for this deck review. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. And if you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magicorthodoxy and twitter.com slash magicorthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.